Today let's take up the lesson inheritance and uh, we'll do the visibility modes in inheritance. We have already seen what are access specifiers. Access specifiers we have public, private and protected. Now in the visibility modes also you have got public visibility mode private visibility mode and protected visibility mode now this visibility mode is something which uh, is used when we are inheriting from a base class right so we have to specify what type of visibility will be given to the derived class so basically this uh, visibility mode controls the access of the inherited members within the subclass or the derived class right now let's first take up the public visibility mode Now first of all let's see how to write this supposing I have got this class super and this is my super class here and I have class sub after this. Now I want to give a public visibility mode means I will write something like this public super right. So this will give a public visibility mode to all the data members which have been inherited from the super class ok now here what happens is when you use a public visibility mode this we call as the public derivation because we are publicly deri deriving here right ok this is the derived class and here I am using this um, uh, public keyword here public super super is the name of the class here and I have written public super this is a public derivation right now in a public derivation the public data members and member functions come to the derived class as public that is their uh, access specifier remains the same right the protected members will come as protected and the private members will come as private so what is basically happening is when I say public visibility mode whatever things I have inside this super class that will come as it is to the derived class. So whatever supposing you write something like this here, here I have the public section inside this public section I have int a1 right and I have protected here and in protected I write int a2 something like this. Now when this a1 and a2 comes into this subclass this a1 and a2 will retain the same access specifier which has been given in the super class so a1 will have will be public over here and a2 will be protected over here so when you give a public visibility mode nothing changes it comes as it is okay so this means the public derivation means that the derived class can access the public and protected data members of the base class because private uh, when I say private comes down as private over here that means private is never accessible.
to a derived class private is something which is accessible only within this class right okay so the public and protected data members will be accessible in the derived class okay so this is what is your public derivation now let's take something like this class super here i have private and inside this i write int a and void calculate something like this then i have protected right here i write int x and void initialize and in the public section i write int y and void display fine supposing this is my super class okay now i am going to write the sub class class sub and here i'll write public super like this so here you can put anything you want supposing i have private and here i say int uh, a1 then public int a2 and in the protected section you put int a3 something like this okay so now what happens here is all these members this uh, this one this protected and public right this will go into this and this private section also goes here but the difference is the data members x comma initialize is the function comma y comma display right all will be accessible within the subclass whereas the data members a and calculate will not be accessible as they are private to the super class okay now let's come to the next derivation which is the private visibility mode this is the private derivation right now what happens here is supposing i have the base class here and i put the derived class like this right okay now base class private public and protected supposing these are the three sections here now when i do a inherit uh, inheritance something like this supposing i have class sub and here i write private super right so this is basically a private derivation now in this case what happens is uh this private when it goes to the derived class is private this public will also become private and this protected will also become private so you are seeing what uh, you are understanding what is happening here everything since you have given a private uh, derivation so what happens is everything in the base class whatever you have put in the base class whether it is private public or protected right all three are made into private right so everything gets converted into private so what does that mean that means the derived class see supposing i have something like this 
in the um, let's put it like this class super now here i write public in public i write int a in protected i have int b and in uh, private uh, there will be a colon after the private and the public i have int c supposing i have written something like this right here you will put a colon and here also there will be a colon like this right now when these uh, data members when they go to the subclass right this a b and c everything becomes private so here i have class sub and i put some coding here now supposing i make a main function and in the main function i make an object of the subclass right now this object of the subclass can access only the public members right so what happens here here i have public suppose and i write void uh, new and void calculate something like this right now this obj1 can access only these two functions even though these uh, protected and public and all these things protected public private everything you know everything is going into this subclass but everything is going as private right so that means the data members a b and c are now restricted within the class sub only it cannot go out of class sub right in the case of a public derivation here i am coming to this in the case of a public derivation this public went as public there this protected went as protected so that means in this case if you make a void main and make an object of this um, subclass here right this object can access see this object can access a2 because this is public over here and it can also access this y and this display protected cannot be accessed outside the uh, class protected can be accessed only in the derived class okay so in this case it can access a2 y and display because this y and display are coming as public here but here in this case this public which i have written over here this comes as private into this class so it cannot be accessed further okay understand so that is what this private visibility mode means if you want to make everything from the base class as private in that case you will give a private visibility mode right so with that i come to the end of today's session uh will be uh, doing this one more visibility mode which is the protected visibility mode which i'll take up in my next session of inheritance